Everything is created, including our own happiness. Mother Teresa has said that God embraces quiet. Think about it. The trees, the flowers, the grass, they all grow quietly. The sun, the moon, the stars, they all move silently. I remember quieting my mind at the starting line after running 63 marathons. I decided I would do something that I've never done before. Instead of thinking about myself and how I was feeling and how I was running, I decided that I would dedicate those miles to people in my life. For the first five miles, I thought only of my son, Max, thinking only of him. And then I mentally put him into the viewing stand. Then the next five miles, I thought of my son, Ben, thinking only of him. And before I knew it, 10 miles was in the books. I'm from a large family. I took my father for a couple of miles, thinking what a great person he is. I took my mother for a couple of miles. I took a a brother, another brother, another brother, a sister, thinking only of her, another sister. At the 25-mile mark, I was thinking, I wished my parents had one more child. But at the 25-mile mark and then the 26-mile mark, I looked up at the finishing banner, and the time read 3 hours, 29 minutes, 29 seconds. And I ran the Boston Marathon the following year, and my father was at the finish line, standing not too far from where a bomb went off many years later. And I did it because I thought of other people. Do you remember Mark's presentation this morning? Do you remember how he, how he, all, all the beautiful scenery that he, of, of, he, he uh, traveled of the western part of the United States? Do you notice what he talked about most? It wasn't the peaks. It was about the people, how they helped one another, how the doctor put stitches, how they had extra food, and some had a team leader, and, and they knew what they were going to do. You know, maybe you need someone from the outside to tell you because you're all in the same job together. You don't realize how important your job is, but, but Mark mentioned it today, that you play a critical part in the success of government. What a privilege that is, that you help hundreds of people, hundreds of thousands of people every day. You're certainly in the numbers business, but you really are in the people business. And that's what memory is all about. Tell the people in your life, how much you love them. Because when you come right down to it, that's truly what it's all about. It is a privilege.